Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, while I sit here, you are going to go and carry on where you left off last time. Enjoy! The Twilight's hammer has unearthed a Titan Waygate and it appears that they're attempting to activate it. Okay. I've seen these before! These, I have seen these before, and these these are quite crucial things. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to drop down here, and it's we far away. are going to make our presence known. Twilight Armsman. Right there. Twilight Cryptomancer. Twilight Crusher. Grundoy Jenkins! Here we go! I am going to make my presence known. You... Foul creatures are not I'm going to be range. suffered to live. Do you know why? Because they are setting about the destruction of all living creatures. They do not care. That is all they exist for. That is all they desire. It's the destruction of everybody. Such a thing cannot be allowed. There are abominations on this earth. I need a target. Under this earth at the moment. They're, they're, they're under it at the moment. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any ruins. Right. Let's uh, let's just have a quick heal, like that, and another heal right there. Right. There is a cryptomancer over there. Grab him. One there. One there. Another one over there. I will taunt him like that. Drop that down on the ground. Got a Twilight I Armsman. I got another one over there. I want to taunt that guy over. Can I get all of them coming over? Can I get all of them attacking? Yes, I think I can, actually. Grundor Jenkins! No, I've, I've lost one of the Cryptomancers that I, that I had attacking. He's, he's, he's gone a little bit too far away. That's fine. We're going to do it like this. I'm going to do that and heal up a little bit. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that again. Then I'm going to do that... Now we're going to go through. We're going to do this. We are going to do. We're going to take all of this down. There we go. Can I last? Yep. And he fully healed. Nice. Nice. We've done that. That was easy. Too easy, Master Chief. And I got two lots of plans. Apparently they, they dished out multiple copies. That's okay. We don't mind that. So we will take our jeweled Onyx Panther, which quite frankly looks very awesome. And we're just going to have... Look, look at that waygate. That waygate is very awesome. I, l I actually love the waygate and uh, uh, where it takes you to as well. Uh, I don't know if this one does. There is another one in another region that does take you through to a very, very cool place. There's somewhere that I'd like to go. Right, uh, deep stone elementals and we're looking for clues as well. And this is the bit that we're looking for. The ship over here. We do also have a bit of ore down here. I gotta not get distracted too much by the ores because, generally speaking, they're fairly worthless. Um, but it's here, and we're able to get more than just one piece at a time now. See four, and we get a gem as well. So this, this I feel is a good thing. I definitely feel this is a good thing. Let's head on upwards and upwards and upwards like this, and I think I just have a look on here. Uh, pet bat. Yeah, I need to upgrade my um, my mod was disabled. I need to upgrade it. I need to work on that. Right. Wait a minute. There's a quest here. That's inside. What are you? Ah, we got, we got, here's, here's these. Target not in line of sight. Now he is. Right. I get that one and that one and I'll bring these two over here and we will drop down that like that. Throw you in. Bring that back up around this side. And you get that one. See, these guys are fairly easy to take down, actually. There. Job done already. And then I can mine them out. And we can get these shimmering shards. You don't get a lot from the shards and stuff, but you get a little bit. And we'll put that down so that we kill the, the rat. Any, any of those that we can get... This is another one that we're all working on. I mean, every, everybody is slowly working. We've got profit sharing over here. Loot 100,000 gold from creatures. Reward Guild Herald. Right, that, that is pretty cool. 
Pr pretty cool. Uh, we're 5,000 gold on guild member repairs at the moment. Loot 200,000. We're on 115. We're coming along quite nicely. It's this one. Kill 50,000 critters. We're up to 12k. So we're slowly getting through there. We're on 455 out of 2,000. That's really good. It's this here. All right. Reach max level on each of the classes listed below. So, so far, we've got Death Knight, Hunter, Paladin, and Warlock. Now, I'm busy working on one of them. There's quite a few Hunters, um, and there's a few Paladins. We don't have Shaman, Demon Hunter, Mage, Priest, Druid, Monk, Rogue, and Warrior yet. But they will get there, and then we'll have the Class Act. This is what gets much more difficult, right? Max level on each of the Human Classes listed below. So not only do we have to get max level on each of these, but then you've got to do it on each available human, each Night Elf, Gnome, Dwarf, Drenai, Worgen, and Pandaren. Okay, it makes it a lot more tricky. Slowly work your way up with all of those. You don't get Gnome Hunters. Uh, you do get Dwarf Hunters. But nobody's done a Dwarf Hunter. Uh, Drenai, nobody's, well, nobody's leveled at the moment, a, a, a Drenai Hunter. I don't really, oh, someone has done a Night Elf Hunter. We've already got that one all the way up. So, I, I could do one of these. Uh, and, uh, or Worgen, Worgen, oh, Worgen does have Hunter. So, we could do Worgen and do the, the Worgen, anyway, I, I digress. Let's not worry about that now. Captain's Log. You leave to the final interrupted entry. Approaching the Temple of Earth at 300 knots and commencing landing maneuvers according to a to new route. We've made note of a low pressure system in the north and redrawn our blood and thunder alliance scum approach. Uh, okay. That's not so good. That's making it look like the alliance have done I'm sure the alliance wouldn't have done this though because the alliance... Realize the importance of r repairing this just as much as the Horde do. I know that we do have our differences, the Alliance and Horde, but during the Cataclysm, we're mostly trying to repair our differences and, and um, mend the, the issues that we've had, not try and destroy each other. I mean, yeah, it, it does go a bit pear-shaped, so later on we're, we're back to like the proper battles between Alliance and um, Horde, and that, that old hatred seems to be reignited. It seems that we're never really going to find peace. It's, it, is, it is a shame. We, we, true peace between Alliance and Horde appears to be a, a, just an empty dream that will never actually happen. So we need three... We, we've got the three clues now that we've got to go and look for. So we'll go and get them next. So there, yeah, I've, I've mined those. So I've got one clue over this. Is it in here? I'm looking in here. And... Right, well, that doesn't seem to be... What's that? No. There doesn't seem to be a clue there. Maybe it is the clue up above us, or is it through this way? It might be out... Ah, it might, it might be out here on the ground somewhere. So look, is that a clue? Uh, no, that doesn't seem to be a clue. Right, well, in which case, the clue is up there. Let's go up. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything yet. That surely can't be it in here. Right, this, this is a bit that I'm looking for, is I, I, I've, I've got to be able to find... Oh, that is the... That, that's what I'm... Sorry. We've got the captain's log there, but it's right here. The captain's log lies nearby. We've already picked that one up. Okay, there's a clue. Now I need to go over here. We've got two more clues out over this way. And we've got the, We've got that clue, so it says about the Alliance. He thinks that it's the Alliance that's took him down. And back here. All right, there. Slain Cannoneer. The Cannoneer's hands are black with gunpowder. Who is that? That's... Right. There was definitely a fight that went on. That's, that's a, um, a hoardy right there. That's a, a, a dead orc. And then over here. Down there. Right there. 
The shell's markings read Stormwind Royal Industries. Stormwind Royal Industries. The mystery deepens. Down here, I've got a bit of Elementium. I thought that we got not... Was it Elementium? Was it, well, there was another ore. Not Elementium, the other one. Uh, the Obsidian stuff. I thought you got Obsidian in here. Maybe I've got that wrong. Not quite sure. Right, let's head back into the temple a second. Right, you two. Let's speak to the seer first. Akal Hector. You did what was necessary, Grundon. I can tell you... I can tell you're the sort of paladin I'll get along with well. Deep stone treads. And uh, no, it's not going to be Peace for upgrade. you. Peace for you. How? How? The clues point to an obvious conclusion. Too obvious, perhaps. Yes, I agree. It does seem a bit of a setup there, doesn't it? Why would the Alliance attack the Horde just as they're about to deliver a fragment of the World Pillar to us? The Earthen Ring is a neutral organization, Grundorn. We cannot pick sides in the war between the Horde and the Alliance. Look around you. Our members come from all backgrounds. Our mission would be compromised should racial tensions be put above our goal. Let's try to keep this under wraps until we have more information. We must not jump to conclusions just yet. I'll send you and one of our new members to look for the Alliance gunship. Find out what you can without dragging us into the conflict. Walk with the Earth Mother. Right, uh, meet Stormcaller Myra above the Alliance gunship. Aboard, not above. Aboard the Alliance gunship. Right. What have we to do? Oh, wait a minute. I've got more turn-ins over here. Let's go and turn these two in a minute. These need to be turned in over here. Speak to these guys. Welcome. Away gate. The cultists dug up a titan way gate. Keep your feet on the ground. Good day to you. Those plans are the key to everything. Maui takes the pl a look at the plans that you hand to her. But, but, but this is just gibberish. What does this even say? What language is that? We don't have the tools to decipher these encrypted plans. <laughs> Twilight's hammer do, though. Would you be a sweetie and take the plans back up there to run them through their one-time decryption engines? Be seeing you. Yeah, I'd love Great to. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Did you hear the blathering idiot while you were up there? He's none other than heathen call their leader. The man's gone daft with power. He's pulling it straight from them. Bound, straight from them bound elementals, making him nigh invincible. The only thing I can think of to get to you, to get you into proper shape for a fight with him is for you to first kill all of them elementals. Get in their wards. That should protect you from heathen spells. Well, most of them anyway. Safe travels. Right. Thanks for that. Yeah. So go up there and, and, and kill a load of them. And, and what what are you going to be doing in the meantime? Just just out of curiosity, what exactly are you planning to do in the meantime? I'm going to go up and we're actually going to go and, and deal with this guy first. Then we'll go back round and we'll do the diplomacy mission. Because that one needs the utmost secrecy. So we want to be like... A little bit discreet with that, I should think. As long as we can maintain a bit of discretion, I think we'll be okay. I don't think we'll have any issues. So we don't need to go rushing off to it. Let's, uh, let's not arouse suspicion by um, doing anything else first. Uh, right. There's the way gate over there. You've got that guy there. And we'll, we'll, let's jump down here and we'll take this one out in a minute. Twilight Cryptomancer and... It's too far away. I will also take him out. Right. Let's do it like this. Take the two of them together. Just the Cryptomancer and the Bound Water Elemental. He's probably just going to be pleased that we're releasing him from this continual torment, to be honest. He's, he's probably going to be quite happy target. about that. I don't have a target. The Titan Waygate is almost opened. We will assist to the Tolvir to reconfigure Oldham and bring about the end of all life on Azeroth. See? You see what this nut job is rabbiting on about? That's that's the sort of thing we're up against. That's why the Twilight Hammer... Do not feel guilty about the Twilight Hammer. We will remove all of them. Their presence shall not be suffered to live. Uh, that's actually... Oh, I see. Right, that's, that's, that's up above us. 
heathen court. Ah. I need to leave him. I need to go and get the, these other bits first. Uh, one time decryption engine. Let's take that one there. I will just very quickly take out this cryptomancer right here. Last wave. I don't think so. I'm not going to have you take me down with that. Right. Decrypt. Plans. Oh, wait. What? Seriously? i got to find six more of them? Nothing's ever easy, is it? I never make anything easy. Why can't I just, like, go along and decrypt a few things and be done with? But no. Can't do that. Can't do it that way. Oh, no. Right, fine. Cryptomancers galore. We will take many of you down. And I will also remove that spider as well, as I can. Um, yeah. I am mighty. I killed the spider. It was a twilight spider. So I, I, I feel justified with that. I, I do feel justified. Anybody that really likes spiders... And arachnids of all kinds. Don't 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 worry. It was an evil spider. It's a twilight spider. We're allowed to kill evil spiders. We don't. It's, it's only the good spiders that we don't kill. Right. Bound fire elemental right here. So we've got a fire ward, a water ward, and an air ward. And then once we've done that, we can. Wow, this guy's actually thrown out quite a bit. It's, it's the whole fire thing. Right. That's that's what makes this difficult. Is all of the fire that's throwing down. Take that, and there's that one. Let's finish off this Cryptomancer. Yeah, look, look at the wards that I've got flying around me in circles. These things are cool. I need the air ward. One last ward, and there it is. It's over that end. So we'll go over there. Before I go there, though, I want to go in here because I've got another one of these decryption machines that we want to use a second. Yeah, excuse me. I, I need to go in there. I, I got stuff. Lord Deathwing's Sundering of the Well of Eternity has brought down Oldham's defenses. Prepare yourselves, we'll march through the Waygate soon. It is true that we serve Deathwing, but we also serve a higher power. Never forget that. Yeah, they serve like the, the creatures in the void. And these creatures, they're worse than anything you can possibly imagine. Like, they, they are the, the ultimate bad guys. They make the bad guys that we've seen so far, they just pale into insignificance next to these ultimate bad guys. And that's what that's what's in the void. There is some really bad things in there. I'm, I'm like, serious with that. Now, can I take this guy I'm from back here? If I can get him from back here, I should avoid that one coming over to me and I won't have to worry about it. And then we get our third shield. There, like that. Right, we have our third shield. I don't have three shields. Why don't I have three balls whizzing around me? I've only got two balls. I've got air ward, and I've got the fire ward, and I've got the water ward. But I've only got two balls whizzing around me like that. And I, I'm, I'm just, just, I should have more. I should have three. Although one is much bigger than the other, so maybe that's how it works. Not really sure. I need one more decryptor, which is right there. Uh, there's only one guard on it, so we'll take that one down really quickly. Although, I do have him wandering along. He's probably going to be here any second. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to mount up and disappear before he gets over here. It's going to aggro. Ah. Mount up. Jump up into the air so we don't have to aggro him. And then we click on the... Aha! So that's it. They're planning on invading Oldham. What's worse is that the pyramid inside the Maker's Rise at Oldham can be reconfigured to become a weapon. A weapon that is capable of destroying all life on Azeroth. Do you remember that big pyramid in Oldham? Massive great big one right down near where we killed all of those gnomes. Yeah. Bad juju down there. Very bad juju. The Twilight's Hammer must be stopped from using the Waygate. There's only one thing to do. Punch in the wrong activation sequence and destroy it. Hmm, let's see. Yes, there's one that opens up the explosive depths of the Fireland, the elemental plane of fire. That should do nicely. Oh, wait a minute. We're supposed to be speaking to the um, gnome, aren't we? That was supposed to be done with a different accent. Right, use the Waygate controller to punch in the wrong sequence. So it's that one down there. We've got no um, mobs or anything around, so let's do this very quickly. There, Waygate destroyed. So we sent that one. The Elemental Plane of Fire. Which may not be quite what they were hoping for when they were busy planning where to go. 
we need to come up here and we've gone we've we've gotten the shields now we have the shields the protections from the elementals and we get to here and we've got heathen call you will be destroyed it's too far away i uh, know actually i won't you will i am gone you're immune to my water spell how can this be right what else is he doing i'm not immune to earth am i my fireball is useless no matter you smug little insect i will still destroy you and oh he's already said about me being immune to the earth man so there's only earth bolt that we're taking damage from and quite honestly it's not doing a great deal of damage to us we're doing yeah nice right we have the, we don't get any loot from him it's a bit of a shame okay we've taken care of him let us go we've also destroyed the way gate so they can't use that one anymore that's another bit that's another task done I, the way gate does look very cool right so there is the twilight's hammer we've had some dealings with the twilight's hammer uh next up i want to go and meet the uh storm caller myera I'm, I'm assuming that's not myra that's myera isn't it aboard the alliance gunship which is oh the alliance gunship is still flying that one's still actually flying around so we need to go Ooh, wait a minute wait a minute have we got Twilight cultists on board both? Of it? Are they, like, working together? The, the Twilight cultists are all working in cahoots in order to try and bring things down. This is this is not good. This is really not a good thing. Let's, let's get up on board here. And... Right, I need to go down in here. It won't let me. Uh... Wait a minute. I just realized there's a lot of bodies on board. Twilight! I told you I shouldn't be fighting this. I need to go and find uh, my era. Go and find her first. Mind blast. You ain't you ain't using that old mind trickery on me, sunshine. Right, let's let's get out of here a minute. There's some very bad juju going on down here. Now go and speak to my... She, she's up here. There's there's my era. Right. May the ancestors watch over you. Hey, Grandorn. I was told I'd have company soon. There's more to this than we know, Grandorn. I can guarantee you that much. Something's wrong here, Grandorn. The ship's crew have been slain. There's no bloodshed no bloodshed or damage to the ship's structure this was not the horde's doing we will find the answers we seek by speaking to the spirits of the dead they've not yet left this world take this totem and place it near the corpses of the fallen you will have a few seconds to listen to their last few thoughts beware however there is no telling how the spirits of the dead will react to our prodding It's possible to find further clues inside the Admiral's cabin. You'll need to find it. You will find it directly below us. See if there are any survivors or information that will lead us closer to the world pillar fragment. Be careful, Grundorn. Whoever got the crew might still be out there. I'm pretty sure they are still out there. Right. Slain crew members. You've got to remember in Deep Home that there are quite a few places that you're up high in the sky and it's a long way down excuse me it is a very very long way down right uh i want to go to you and i want to use that on him like that everyone started dropping like flies everyone who ate the rations oh dear. greetings greetings it would appear that they've been poisoned they poisoned our supplies we had cultists on board all along this that's pretty horrible way to go really oh invalid target right put that there 
Everyone started dropping like flies. Everyone who ate the rations. Twilight scum! You did this to us! Uh, well, no, I didn't actually, dude. Um, let me help. Let, let, let me help set your mind at peace. I'm hoping that this will. will, will. Hopefully, that will give him the peace that he needs. This, this is not the situation where we can sort of judge him harshly for reacting like that. It's to be expected. Twilight scum, you did this to us. There's another one. Right, well, let, let me just ignore her for a second and place another one of those down. Another Twilight scum. Okay, right. Let, let's, let's, let's remove both of these. Hopefully, the rest of. Do a, a few more of them will be a little bit more. We've got a guy right there. He'll be a little bit more peaceful than these two. These two seem very upset. I mean, I can understand that. You can. And, and, and the dwarf did warn us that um, such a thing might happen, that, that they may be quite angry about this. Right. You right there. Wait. Oh, that's it. It's done. We did only need to do that. We didn't just need to have the, the peaceful ones. Okay. Uh, the captain's cabin. And this is slain crew members. There's got to be a clue in here somewhere. There. First mate mo That's a blood stain. Well met. This ship is filled with rats. Not sure who you're with, but you don't look like one of them. I'm not sure what happened. I slept through supper and woke up to a ship full of dead people and murderers. Not sure if you want to kill me or not, but I'll spare you the trouble. Moody points to a wound in his stomach. His insides are not where they should be. I can keep steering the ship for a while longer. You don't die from a gut wound immediately. Just bring me some rope and some rum. No whiskey. Oh, uh, not no whiskey. Uh, no whiskey. Light bless you. Yeah, you don't die from a gut wound immediately, but it's also an extremely unpleasant way to go. Um, that guy's... I was going to say that guy's got some guts, but that <laughs> might not be the best terminology to use right now. Uh, we, need, we need to find him some rope and some whiskey. A bottle of whiskey and a spool of rope. We'll go back up and we will speak to Myra up here. I'll run back up here and we'll speak to her a second. I was born to fly. We were bound to run into the Twilight's hammer sooner or later, Grondorn. If they're behind this, it's quite likely that the World Pillar Fragment is in their possession. It looks like the Twilight's hammer is still on the ship. Go below decks and take them out. Be careful, Grondorn. I have a feeling they're not here for a spiritual retreat, if you know what I mean. May the ancestors watch over you. It's not too late, Grondorn. The cultists are probably still here. Go below decks and find out who's in charge and subdue them. We'll obtain answers to our questions one way or another. Sounds rather ominous, that does. Mind you, they've crossed the line. They have crossed the line. They have. Right, well, there's a bit of uh, bit of rope. Could do some of that. And I... Oh, wait. I need a target. I thought we'd killed everybody. Mornorok should be pleased with this. Uh, Mornorok is the one that I need to go and get. Right, this is him. Uh, I guess the picking up rope triggered that. Where's the whiskey? I need to go and find the whiskey. More whiskey. I need more whiskey. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to interrupt things here because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.